tiny puppy shivering in a cardboard box on a bustling city sidewalk caught the eye of Peaches, a ginger mama cat. What Peaches did next will melt your heart. Before we dive into this enchanting tale, we warmly invite you to support our channel. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment saying, I've subscribed. If this story touches your heart, please share it with your friends and family. Your support is invaluable to us. While on her morning stroll, Peaches, a ginger mama cat with a happy home nearby, spotted a cardboard box on the bustling sidewalk. Drawn by whimpers, she found a shivering abandoned puppy, barely old enough to be on its own. Motherly instincts kicked in. Peaches, who had recently had kittens herself, crawled in and snuggled the pup for warmth. As the sun rose, the box became too hot. Unable to get attention from passers-by, Peaches made a life-altering decision. Gently scooping up the puppy in her mouth, she started her journey home. A few blocks later, they reached Peaches' apartment, where her mewing kittens awaited. Peaches gently placed the puppy on the kitten's soft blanket. Confused but curious, the kittens paused mid-meow to investigate their new housemate. The recently orphaned pup, overjoyed at this unexpected company, joined them in playful exploration within the crate. As feeding time arrived, Peaches let out a familiar call. Her kittens instinctively nudged in for their milk. The hungry puppy, unsure of proper etiquette, remained hesitant. Peaches, in a remarkable gesture of maternal care, used her paw to gently nudge the pup towards a recently vacated spot. With a little encouragement, the puppy began to drink alongside the kittens. Just then, Max and April, Peaches loving owners who adored animals, returned home. Peaches, who herself had found a haven with them after being surrendered by her previous owner, hoped they'd extend the same kindness to this abandoned pup. As the couple settled in, a can opener sound alerted Peaches. She usually received her own meal upon their arrival, but today her focus wasn't on food. With a hopeful glance at the sleeping bundle of fur and the curious pup, Peaches awaited her human's next move, eager for their reaction to her newfound family. Uncharacteristically, no playful pause met April's ears as she approached the crate. Concern etched on her face, she knelt beside the container. Peaches, curled protectively in the corner, watched both her kittens and her owner with watchful eyes. Relief washed over April as she saw the healthy, sleeping kittens nestled in the provided blanket. Remembering the vet's advice, April cautiously reached towards the kittens, a smile gracing her lips as Peaches did not object. One by one, she gently stroked their heads. Then her hand met a fifth head. Confusion replaced the smile. Peaches had only had four kittens, and no plush toy could have mimicked the feeling of fur. Knowing Peaches used the fire escape for her outings, a worry bloomed in April's chest. Had another cat snuck in? Crouching further, she activated her phone's flashlight, peering anxiously into the crate. What she found was a stray nestled beside the kittens. April's phone light revealed a sight far stranger than a stray cat. The puppy, roused by the light, opened its eyes. April cried out for Max, and Peaches, abandoning her food, rushed to stand guard over the pup. As Max joined April, a collective gasp escaped them. A pair of brown eyes blinked up from the blanket. A puppy nestled against Peaches' orange fur, emboldened, the pup crawled forward, eager to meet these new giants. April cautiously reached out, scooping the puppy into her arms. It nestled in contentedly, while Peaches watched intently. Max and April exchanged confused glances. Sure, Peaches used the window, but the fire escape was too high for a puppy. Another whimper from the pup prompted Peaches to return, nudging April's arm. The message was clear. 
Reunite the family. April gently placed the puppy on the floor, watching in wonder as Peaches meticulously cleaned it before carrying it back into the warmth of the blanket. The mystery of the dog's arrival was solved, but another arose, its origin. Max, working at a local vet clinic, dialed as best he could. Were there any missing puppy reports? Sadly, no, but there were plenty of abandoned pups found in boxes and even outside the shelter. It was peak season for unwanted Christmas gifts. The vet advised a checkup, and Max readily agreed. April, ever responsible, reached for the carrier intending to take the pup to the vet. However, Peaches, fiercely protective, swatted away April's hand. While startled, April knew separation was necessary. The pup's health, and by extension the kitten's, depended on a vet visit. April, a seasoned volunteer at the shelter, recognized Peach's fierce protectiveness. Rescuers often face this, mothers refusing to be separated from their young. The solution? A lure. Max had recently bought puree chicken treats for Peaches, and April grabbed one. The orange tabby sniffed, intrigued. The pup mirrored her movement, then cautiously approached, lured by the treat. April smiled, placing it inside the carrier. The pup followed the scent, stepping inside. Peaches, ever watchful, stood up and followed her adopted child. The moment both were inside, April closed the door and handed the carrier to Max. He took the unlikely pair to the vet while April stayed with the kittens. The carrier was loaded into the car, and soon they were at Max's workplace. The vet, prepped on the unusual case, still couldn't contain her shock as she opened the door. Max called back with good news. The cat and pup had calmed down halfway through the ride. As April peered inside, she saw why. Just like in the box, Peaches cradled the pup close, offering warmth and comfort during their 45-minute journey. The vet, having heard stories of animal adoption, was still unprepared for the sight. Awe filled her as she gently separated the sleeping pup from the dozing mother. Peaches, exhausted from the day's ordeal, slumbered on. The vet examined the pup, revealing a concerning truth. A six-week-old German Shepherd, much younger than ideal for separation. Further tests showed the pup was underweight and lacking crucial nutrients. Luckily, milk replacement could address these issues. Relief washed over Max, who had grown fond of the pup himself during their playful post-nap session. He politely refused shelter suggestions. Peaches wasn't the only one attached. But a question lingered. Where did a tiny shepherd pup come from so far from its own kind? The answer, as they would soon discover, held a story of its own. The vet, relieved at the pup's good health, confided in Max that the shelter was overflowing. Additionally, socialization was crucial for an early separated puppy, and that wouldn't be readily available at the shelter. Max, smitten with the pup himself, readily agreed. While the vet fetched supplies, Max christened the tiny shepherd Bear for his brown, shaggy fur. As Peaches stirred, a worried meow escaped her lips, noticing Bear's absence. Max, understanding her concern, opened the carrier and returned the pup. Peaches instantly curled around Bear, showering him with the same meticulous grooming she gave her kittens. Max, touched by the scene, thanked the vet and headed home. Upon release, Peaches whisked Bear back to the crate, where he was greeted with playful nips from his new siblings. Max filled April in on the vet's diagnosis. Under their loving care and Peaches' unwavering affection, Bear thrived. Fast forward a few months, and Bear, a boisterous one-year-old, was a picture of health. His rough start was a distant memory, replaced by the warmth of his forever home. Peaches, the unlikely mother, had defied expectations and proven that a mother's love transcends species.
This heartwarming story is a testament to the power of compassion and the unexpected bonds that can form. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below.